the social credit system historically is a continuation and, and a really sophisticated continuation of what was called the work file uh, in the kind of older communist styles. And your work file determined who you were, what you could do, even to the point of where you could marry, wh what house you lived in, where you'd work. It was complete and utter control. This has taken it to another level. If you do bad things in terms of what the party deems to be bad, which obviously the, the worst case would be disloyalty to the party, you'll be locked out essentially of the system. You're locked out. You can't initially get your kids educated. You can't fly on a plane. Uh, you, you won't get any subsidies. You're just literally taken out of society and you and you live in a black zone which is already happening to 10 to 12 million people in China. Xi Jinping has laid down a challenge to Western liberal democracies. He's saying that basically we've lost the way, uh, that they are faltering and putting up uh, the communist model as, as the way forward for half the world. And this social credit system is very much at the heart of what this new model is about. And, it's, and it sort of reveals what people don't really comprehend, and the story did in some detailed fashion, is that, you know, the lengths they go to, to control, to make consensus, to, con to basically have censorship, to control people's thoughts, to control people's behaviour towards total and utter, you know, loyalty to the one party system. This is a great example of actually making an investment uh, and having a team inside China. Um, you just couldn't get this story no other way. So it's critical in that early warning system uh, that you're alerting not only our government but the world in terms of what actually is going on inside China because China obviously controls all the information that comes out of that place. It is a very tight censorship system.